Hi, welcome back. In a previous video, we set up this Google Classroom as an example, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add assignments to it. So let's just jump right in here and look at the tabs at the top. I have a Classwork tab right here, a People tab, which we looked at in the last video, and Grades. So let's just take a look at Classwork. So the Classwork tab allows you over here under the Create button to add assignments. So I'm going to click on the Create button, and you can see Assignment right here, Cami assignment, quiz assignment, question, material, or reuse post. Since we have a lot of options here, we're going to focus on assignments for this video. There are plenty of other videos out there. If you do a YouTube search, you can find specific details on how to do almost anything in Google Classroom. So I encourage you to do that. But for this Google 101 video, I just want to focus on creating your first assignment, what that looks like, and what the different buttons and features look like in the assignment tab. Your first step is to give your assignment a title. I'm going to call this Element Worksheet. The instructions here are optional, but I'm going to write some instructions to the students. So I'm going to say, please answer the questions and then submit. For this example, I'm going to use the PDF that I converted over into a Word document and then a Google Doc in a previous video. And you should see a link pop up for that video right now. So to add an assignment, you click on the Add button right here. You have several options. Most commonly, you're going to be adding it from Drive. So I'd encourage you to take your files that you have, put them into Drive, and convert them over into a Google-friendly format first, then use them in Classroom. If you'd like to upload something directly from your files on your computer, you can do that down here. You can also link a website, and you could put a YouTube video in. Most commonly with Add, you're going to be using Google Drive. I'm going to click on that. And the nice thing about Google Drive is it will show recent documents that you've just been working on. So if you recently converted this or you recently put it into your Google Drive from your files, it should show up here. And I see my worksheet is right here. That's the elements one that we converted. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to hit add at the bottom. So in my opinion, this is one of the best features of Google Classroom is this next step. As you can see right here, it says students can view file but I don't want them to just be able to view it. I want them to have their own copy that they can actually answer and then submit. So they can type into this actual document. So if I go down here, it says students can edit file. I don't want to click that because that means they can edit my master copy of that file. Instead, I want to go down to the bottom and make a copy for each student. If I click that, what happens is it automatically gives them their own copy. They can fill out that copy and then submit it. So each student independently will have their own copy. Over on the right hand side, this is the information that goes along with my assignment. So right here, this is an important step for many of you that have multiple class periods. You're going to want to click this down arrow right here, and then you could select the classes that you want this assignment to be linked to. If the assignment is specific to certain students in your class, you can select them right here. You can select a point value right here, or if it's an ungraded assignment, you can also select ungraded. Your due date can be selected here. If you click here, you'll be able to access a calendar and you can choose when you'd like that assignment due. The next part that you want to make sure that you do to keep organized here in Google Classroom is click Topic. And if you don't have any topics, you can hit Create Topic. I'm just going to create this as Chemistry as the topic. There's also a new feature that allows you to add a rubric. You can do that if you'd like to also. I'm going to set the point value on this at 20 points. And then I'm going to hit Assign up here. All right, when it's done assigning, you see now that I have chemistry here as my topic, and underneath that topic, I have one assignment. If I go to the stream now at the top, click that tab, the stream just serves as kind of your home base. It's a running list, sort of like a Facebook feed of what's happening in your classroom. But if students want to actually look at the assignments, they should click on classwork, and you should do the same as well. Over here, there'll be a list of your topics. Right now, I only have one topic. So I want to point out a couple other things on the screen right here. For the Google Calendar, I made a separate video, and there should be a link popping up now that talks about how to use that calendar in conjunction with Classroom. Your Class Drive folder is something important to note because what happens is when you create this Classroom, Google automatically creates a new folder in your Google Drive for this Classroom. And what that means is that if you just want to skip the step of loading files into Google Drive, and then putting them in Classroom. When you create that assignment, you can just load the files right from your computer onto Classroom. And then Classroom automatically will store them in a Class Drive folder, which you'll find under My Drive. So ultimately, any files that you work with or put onto Classroom will be stored in your drive. Okay, that'll do it for this short video on getting you started with your first assignment in Google Classroom. If you have any questions, please contact me at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. 
Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this will be a rather short video, and there are so many other aspects to Classroom that you can dive into. I'm going to make a playlist of other videos that have already been created that are out there on YouTube. I'll make sure I copy that playlist link and share that with everyone, and that will have things that dive into how to grade on Google Classroom, how to deal with assignments and looking at completion, and things like that. So I'll find as many videos as I can, I'll put them on there in a playlist, and that way you'll have a reference to turn to if you have some more questions about the in-depth parts of Google Classroom. Until next time, thanks and have a great day.